What's up, Show Nation? This is Chris Singleton, and welcome to the show. Live from beautiful. So stepping in for Boston, Jaron Duran. The left fielder, Jaron Duran. And the pitch. Edge of the zone for a strike. And we are underway in Denver. Swings and misses. And the count is 0 2. The wind of the pitch. Up the middle. And that chance handled. The throw to first, one up, one down. Now it's going to be Connor Wong. Talk about being able to dial up the velocity. That first baseman over there might need a little pad inside that first baseman's mitt. Wong in his second season, batting second in today's lineup, and he was a third-round pick back in 2017. Aye. Swing and a miss, and it's Going nothing in two.
Swings through that, and it's a strikeout. And there are two outs. And here is Devers. And that's a little high. That one fouled off. Two outs, base is empty. Swing and a miss, and 102 on the radar gun. Swings and misses. Red Sox go one, two, three. Dansby Swanson stands in. Swanson, former first round pick by the Arizona Diamondbacks. Vanderbilt player in college, College World Series player, all that good stuff, but really coming into his own. Swing and a miss. Bounced up the middle. Hamilton sends it to first, and Swanson is set down. Starling Marte up to hit. And first offering is fouled off. One out, base is empty. That's foul off to the right side, keeps the AB going. One down, base is empty. Gets a piece, and it stays 0-2. Swing and a miss. Curveball in the dirt. Wong down to first. Got him. Two gone after the strikeout. Two outs. Space is empty. Here's some real power at the plate. Richie Sexton swings and misses. And it's 0-1. In the air, left field, in and to his right. Brings it in, and that'll do it. And we're back. New inning getting started. Now it's the right fielder, Tyler O'Neill. Foul back our way, and that's out of play. Righty to the plate. Swings through that one out in front that time. Yeah, there's a ball. It's a good take. Got him. Looks like he's picked up right where he left off. Now batting Tristan Casas. Swing and a miss. Going one. No score here in the second. Next offering is in for a strike. Looks like a really good fastball today. You can hear that catcher's mitt popping. Looking forward to hearing a lot of that Three. one. This one. Swings through it, and that's a strikeout. Two outs, space is empty. And stepping in for Boston, Sidane Rafaela. There's a strike. In there for a strike at the bottom of the zone. And that one lifted in the air, center field. Marte makes the grab, and that's the inning. Back here in Denver, digging in, Bob Gibson. Pavetta back to work. Foul ball there. That's towards center. Rafaela grabs it on the run. Kyle Schwarber comes good. up to hit here. No He's someone here. that really beats oh, yeah. up on right-handed pitching. The lefties, oh, however, give him a little bit more trouble. And a foul ball. Righty delivers. Hard ground ball, base down. So a man aboard now with one away. 
He was all over that one. Timing on the swing was good. Able to shoot the ball up the middle. Didn't square it up as much as he probably would have liked, but that's a good approach paying off. And there's a base hit. Quick throw back in. Lead runner holds it second with one gone. And next is the designated hitter, Lance Lynn. And fouled off. Well, all eyes on the double play ball in this spot. No better way to get out of this inning. The 0-1. Hit on the ground might be two. Good feed. That's one. And that's two. All set for the start of the inning. Now it's the DH. Willier Abreu. The wind and the pitch. That one finds the zone. That's strike one. A little out front there as he swings through it. And here it comes. Ah, that hit him. And the leadoff man is aboard to start the inning. At the play, Romy Gonzalez. Fell in the box. He's seen that movie before. It wasn't a good movie either. He knew how it was going to end right from the beginning. And the pitch. Good nope. eye in that Ball spot. One. Abreu on at first. Nobody out. Next nope. offering upstairs. Got the back going too soon. It's strike two. Foul ball, another 2 2 upcoming. And down on strikes he goes. One down. David Hamilton up next for the Red Sox. A big swing and a miss. Top of the third, no score. And he hits a ground ball right side. And base hit. Lead runner around second. And they'll have runners at the corners after a one-out single. Turned on it nicely. Definitely a little out in front of the pitch, but he didn't hook around it too much and was able to keep it fair down the line. Runner in scoring position now and a good opportunity to push across the first run of the ball game. Swing and a miss as he was late. The last thing he wants is to hit the ball on the ground, but I wouldn't expect many pitches up in the zone. They'll be pitching for a double play in this spot. Next offering is down low. The Red Sox with a chance to score first. We're here in the top half of inning number three. Swing and a pop-off in foul ground. Out number two. Now the number two hitter, Connor Wong. His first at bat was a strikeout. That one just misses a ball and no strikes. Late with the swing there. I think he was sitting off speed there. Next offering is in for a strike. One ball, two strikes. Got him swinging. Back here at Coors Field. And now it's going to be Hunter Green. And a pitch. To third. Into the outfield base hit. Man aboard on the leadoff single. Well, that started and ended pretty quickly. No messing around right there. Just one of those seen eye base hits through the infield. He just kind of rolled over on it a little bit, but some. Oh, can't pick it up cleanly. So the batting order turns over. Dansby Swanson getting ready to hit. Ground ball left side could be two. The underhand flip. One at second. Throw to first, but he beat it. Two on, one out. Here's Starling Marte. 0 for 1 so far. Ground ball could be two. Slings to second. And they bounce into two already. This one ends the third.
And welcome back to the ballpark. Out of the fourth, Joe stepping in for Boston, Rafael Devers. Devers measures six feet even, 235 pounds, and he was born in the Dominican Republic. And a good eye there. Swing and a miss. And that's strike one. One ball, one strike. Yeah. Swings through that. Wow, good luck catching up to one that ball, one. Two strikes. Registers the punch out and hits 101. Here's Tyler O'Neill. Struck out looking at his first at bat. Fastball for a strike. 0 1. And a strike right through there. That one at triple digits. The 0 2. Battling here as he fouls it away. One down, base is empty. Got him. Two down. And next for the Red Sox, Tristan Casas. He's 0 for 1. Casas checks his swing. Appeal down to third. And Joe McDonald says he went around. Two down, nobody on. That one finds the zone. That is strike two. Got him. And it's over. And we're back. And now the first baseman, Richie Sexton. Pavetta back to work. Now it's belted. Deep to left. Way out of here. Home run. He made him pay for that one. And that gives him a lead. It's 1-0. Hit hard on the ground to short. Whips it to Casas. And that's the first out. Nice recovery after giving up the homer. Here's the left fielder, Kyle Schwarber. And first offering is fouled off. The wind of the pitch. Left field. Duran tracks it down for the out. The right fielder. Stan Musial, the next to hit. And he's already singled in this game. First pitch swinging. Something I'm Hold noticing on in this one is that these hitters are aggressive early in the count. It makes Aye. you wonder if that was talked about in the hitters meeting no before ball, this game started. Strike. Absolutely crushed. And that one is going to land by a van down by the river. A gigantic blast. It's their second home run of the inning, and they add a run. It's 2-0. Now here is Lance Lynn, and it finds its way through for a hit. Joey gets on base and keeps it going. Now it's the second baseman, Hunter Green. One for one with a single so far. Late on that fastball. 0-1. Swings over the top of that one. 0-2 is the count. And that's outside. And that's ball one. Boog, it looks like somebody missed the swing side. That's the first pitch this team's taken for a ball all game long. Right side. O'Neill drifts towards it. Brings it in. And the inning is over. Ready now for the fifth inning. Here's the center fielder, Sidane Rafaela. The right-hander back to work. Just missed. Well, after putting up a nice inning on offense, got some runs across, this is where you look for the starter to go out there, have a shutdown inning. Hey. Don't give that other team any hope. Uh, you just hope that he can get through this inning, get the bats back up there while they're hot. In the air out to center. Marte moves under it, hauls it in for the out. And there's one down. Willier Abreu up next for the Red Sox. Hit by a pitch his first time up. 
A swing and a miss, and that's strike one. All ones the count. Grounded to Ernie. Throws the first in time. Here's the second baseman, Romy Gonzalez. Well, he's doing a nice job of keeping the ball out of the air. Lets the defense work behind him with another ground ball. Good execution. Oh, and one. Swing and a miss. The offense needs to start showing some fight oh, against two. this starter. He's doing his thing out there. They're going to have to push back at some point and make him work a little bit harder. Two down, nobody on. And we're at the top of the fifth. Swing and a ground ball out to short. Throws the first in time. And that is that. Back here in Denver, we head to the bottom of the fifth. Here's the third baseman, Ernie Banks. Ernie. The pitch. And first offering is fouled off. Well, these guys doing a good job of simply getting the bat on the ball in this game, and the numbers back that up. One thing that really stands out to me is how they've only struck out one time. That's good discipline right there, and on top of no it, they're seven. producing more than a hit Short per inning. So the lineup flips over, and now the shortstop, Dansby Swanson. Swings hey. through that one. 0-1. Oh oh one. All those down. numbers mean this offense is really making the defense work by just ah. putting the ball into play. No Anything ball. can Two happen strike. at that point. That one, one way outside. And that is ball one. Base is empty one away. Last half of inning number five. And the right hander deals. And that's going to get into the corner. He's in at second with a one out double. Well, that'll make you feel good as a hitter right there. Loud contact leads to the double. I mean, you could tell it had extra bases written all over it as it jumped off of his stick. On the ground to the left. Marte oh. retired. Stepping in the long ball threat, Richie Sexton. He's already homered in this game. Slice the other way. That's a base hit. Around third. Now a relay to second. The tag, and they cut him down. All set for the top of the sixth. And the batter will be the shortstop, David Hamilton. Swings through that one for strike one. Oh, and one. Comes up empty. It really looks like these hitters have been in between with their timing today. Good fastball, excellent slider, but they've not been able to commit to one velocity and stay there. Here comes a pinch. In the air of the infield. Green makes the grab one away. Now batting Jaron Duran. Boy, that was a hanging breaking ball right there. I think he tried to do a little bit too much. Sometimes those eyes can get really big. I think his swing broke down as well, and that's what caused him to pop it up. Left hand batter waits. Outside low, 2 and 0. Oh. He's been going after these guys consistently, and as a result, he's been able to keep his pitch count low. Throwing the ball very well right now. Let's see if he gives him anything to hit here. That one to first. And he handles oh. it himself for the out. Here's the catcher to hit, Connor Wong. Good slider inside right there. Batter fighting to get there, just rolled over it, got the ground ball. Just oh, off the out. outside edge, and that's ball one. And that another ball. ball. Struggled a little bit in this one. Couple of strikeouts earlier, but doing a much better job in this at bat to get ahead and find a good hitter's count at 2-0. and oh. The Red Sox trailing by three, and we're the top half of the sixth. Swing and a miss, and now two and two. Two ball, two strike. Come on and miss, struck him out, and a nice...
Bottom of the sixth inning. Now here's the switch inning power threat, Bob Gibson. Up the middle, and he knocks it down. And they get the out after the ricochet. So digging in, Kyle Schwarber. One for two. And a base hit into right. Well, clearly he was ready to hit. The left-hander on now, Brennan Bernardino. Just trying to keep this one close here, and this is where a bullpen can give their players a chance to fight back into the game. And yeah, the batter now, Stan Usual. Line drive. No trouble here, puts it away for the out. And there's two away. Man at first. Next is the designated hitter, Lance Lynn. Outfield playing very deep, not wanting anything over their heads. 1 0. This one in the dirt, but no advance. That's ball one. Schwarber off of first with two away. Ground ball up the middle. That's a base hit. Lead runner touches second, headed for third. The throw in, and he's out. Cut down, and that ends the... And welcome back to the ballpark. And it's Rafael Devers in the box. Win back to work. And that's in for a strike. So what we're seeing is a lineup that's just out of sync with the pitcher. They're guessing wrong, and their timing's off. Swings and pulls it foul to the right side. This pitcher's done a good job of disrupting the hitter's timing with a mix of pitches and changing speeds. You want to keep that front foot inconsistent for the batter. Their swings are hesitant, and that's exactly what you want on the mound. Left-hand hitter waits. That's ball two. Definitely a swing and miss slider down and in. He finished that really well. Just couldn't get him to offer at it. And he deals. Bold strike three on the fastball, and that ran back over the inner half. And next will be the cleanup hitter, Tyler O'Neill. Hey. That one finds the corner. Strike one. Oh, one the Red Sox trailing by three here at the top half of inning number ball seven. One. Ball one there. Ball one strike. That hey. one a triple digits. One ball. Two strike. Right through there, got him. Two gone now. Now that two outs, base is empty. And here's the first baseman, Tristan Casas. And that one clips the corner. That's in there. That's strike two. Two outs. Missed with a changeup and a count one and two. And he chases that one. New pitcher for the Red Sox, Luis Garcia. Pretty tight game, so they're looking for quality pitches out of him right here. Got to do his best to keep the score right where it is. Green at the plate now. That's ball one. Ball one, no strike. And that's him for a strike. The 1 1. Now a screamer into the outfield. Reaching for it and brings it in. Man, that's one of those at bats where you have to remind yourself it's about the process. He did everything right, right there. Nothing to show for it. But in your mind, you have to convince yourself that it was a very good at bat. Pulls it down, and there's two gone. Now back. back to the top of the lineup. Here's the shortstop at the play. Dansby Swanson, one for three. Back to the mound. It hit him. Safe at first, and now we'll check on the right-hander. Hope he's all right. So a man aboard, and now the center fielder, Starling Marte. 0 for 3 with two ground outs and a strikeout. On the ground, out to short. 
That's the third out, out, inning over. Ready to begin the eighth. And now here is Sidane Rafaela. The pitch. That misses the zone. Ball one. And a strike right through there. That one at triple digits. Next offering is in for a strike. Out there to center. Marte racing over to make the catch. Willier Abreu up next for the Red Sox. That yep, one misses, one and it's one to know. Base is empty one away, and we're in the top of the eighth. Splits the plate, and one and one. Grounded to Ernie. To first, two away. Romy Gonzalez up next for the Red Sox. the corner for a strike. 0 and 1. Hey. 95 with that one. The Go stuff has been strike. excellent. Outside low and it's 1 and 2. Three. He goes down looking. Back here at Coors Field, ready for the bottom of the eighth. And now the first baseman, Richie Sexton. The pitch. Ground ball, Casas. Got him on the off-balance throw. And that's one away as the leadoff man is out in the eighth. Next to hit, Bob Gibson. Hit in the air, center field. In position. He makes the grab two away down. Now the left fielder, Kyle Schwarber. He swings and fouls one off. I love how he tracked the ball right there and was able to get through that fastball just a little bit late. Otherwise, it stays fair. I think if the top hand is a little stronger, same swing produces a home run. Throwing the ball well, and they need this scoreless inning in relief right here. Been doing a good job keeping him in striking distance. Two down, nobody on. And down on strikes. And good work there as he... All set to start the ninth in this one. And now the shortstop, David Hamilton. And a pitch. There's a strike. The shortstop takes a ball. Hits the corner. One and two. Swing and a miss, and he struck him out. And a strikeout for the first out here in the ninth. So the Red Sox lineup turns over. Jaron Duran up next for the Red Sox. And a swing and a miss. Oh one for count. That one down the line. Banks to first. Now only one out remaining. And stepping in for Boston, Connor Wong. And ball one. Wouldn't ball chase three. that time. The Red Sox trailing by three here at the top of the ninth. Swing and a miss at 100 miles an hour. Swings through that one for strike two. This could end it. 
Swing and a miss, and he got him. And that'll do it. Really incredible performance on the mound. You know he's going to stew a little bit over that one hit that he gave up because when you look at the body of work, so dominant, if he'd have made just one better pitch, perhaps he'd have a no-hitter.
Greetings from Singer Stadium in beautiful Seoul, South Korea. The show brings you Diamond Dynasty Baseball. It's the Giants going up against the Seoul Singers. We got a couple of all-star teams. So just about set now. And on the hill, the big righty, Austin Riley. When he's on Boog, he's really fun to watch. He takes the pressure off entire lineups, and typically, he doesn't need a ton of runs and support. No one should be surprised if he settles in and takes full control of this game. That's what he's looking to do for sure. Bob Gibson will hit next. And that one fouled off. Kicks and fires. Swing and a deep drive. This one's got a chance. Way back there. And boom goes the dynamite. 
He powers that one out of here. And that's how they take the lead. It's 2 nothing. The brighter the lights, the more he shines. Yeah, this guy lives for big moments, and right there made a statement big time. Number 49, the batter now as he swings and misses for strike one. Singy, one thing visiting teams always chat about before playing in this stadium is the dimensions of the outfield wall. Doesn't take much to hit one out. Double barreled action in the bullpen. Jeff Hoffman up and throwing. Nen getting loose as well. One and two now. Swings and misses, struck him out. Good pitch right there. I mean, he's attacking a location that this guy at the plate tends to have trouble with. And there's just so much information in this day and age, sometimes too much information, but the guys that can take that information, process it, and then go out there, Boog, and execute the pitch, go right after that hitter, and get the result that they were anticipating. That's really good pitching right there. And it's a good job of the pitcher and the catcher working together. Yeah, only 307 down the left field line and 325 and right. It's a great park for right-handed pull hitters. And the deepest part of the park doesn't take up much space. This is a hitter's park, no doubt. One down, base is empty. That's up and ball. in. Going to count one and two. Bounce takes it over the fence for an automatic double. Now the third baseman, Ernie Banks. That ball exploded off his bat and off the warning track as well as it bounced over the fence. And it sounded really good, too. He just put together a really nice swing and just missed a home run. On the ground to third. Lindor on the first. And he's out. Dansby Swanson stands in. Outfield deep here, trying to prevent anything over their heads. Up the middle, DeGrom. In plenty of time to first, and Swanson is set down. They limit the damage here, but two come across to score in the inning, courtesy of... And now the DH, Dontrell Willis. The pitch. So after scoring Big runs, this is where you're looking for that shutdown inning. Get that hot team back in there to swing the bats. Right-hander kicks deals. And now it's even up. That was absolute gas. Triple digits on the gun. It's just a different experience as a hitter watching that go by. Grounded to Ernie. Gathers and throws to first. One gone bottom half of the first. Standing in is the power hitting second baseman, Aaron Nola. Slider for a strike. Swings and misses. And that is strike two. Got him. Two away. Well, that event seemed to be over as soon as it started. Three-pitch strikeout. You've got to be better at the plate right there, at least to foul something off, extend that at bat. And now up to the plate, Jacob DeGrom. The shortstop takes the ball. Two out, space is empty. He swings and hits a fly ball, center field. Marte moves under it, drops into the glove, and that is that. Jeff Hoffman on the pitch yeah, yeah. here. And we all know about his slider. It's just filthy, man. And one of the better ones in the game, I'd say. Spin rate's very high, and it just breaks a ton. Yeah. Richie Sexton now in the box. Oh, comes one. up empty with a swing there. Hoffman, a very difficult guy to get hits off of. It's really rare for teams to string stuff together against it. He wins every pitch, and for a hitter, Sometimes a victory is just fouling off one of his pitches. Fly ball down the line. And it's off the wall, but foul. Unless he beats himself, somehow can't find it, doesn't have the control command that day, you can pretty much forget about it. 
One Not ball. even close two there. Straight. One and two to count. As a hitter, there's even more pressure to take advantage of any mistake, right? Yeah, and you're hoping that, you know, somehow, some way, whether it's a hit by pitch, a walk, Three. something bad happens because outside of that, stuff is just too good to fail. Well, that's the effect of the splitter that you're looking for on the mound. Really nice pitch right there and had him out in front over the top. I'm sure the batter was thinking he was getting something else, perhaps a fastball. Dives and he can't hang on. And he's got deception in his delivery, and it's not that he's trying to deceive the hitters. He just has this natural flow that makes it hard for hitters to pick the ball up. It gets on them a little bit quicker than they anticipate, even though they know. Here goes the runner on the ground. DeGrom, Marte retired. So the batting order turns over. Now a chance for Hunter Green. One for one with a single and a run scored so far. Well, in the dirt. And the runner holds. Man on second, two down. Swing and a ground ball up the middle. That's a base hit. Coming home. He'll score, and they lead by three. Comes through with the RBI. Rob Nett will take over here. Two outs, runner at first. Bob Gibson digs in now. He's already homered here in this one. And first offering is fouled off. One run across in the frame so far here at the top of the second. Swing and a miss as he was late that time. Oh, well, that's today's style of baseball right there, right? Big time velo on the bump and big time oh, pop at the plate. And now one and two. Throw over to first. The one two. This one lifted in the air, left field. And that is that. But the RBI single pushes across a run. It's now back now at Singer Stadium. Now it's the power speed combo. Hank Aaron. As he turns on the rubber and with that good live arm delivers. And a swing and a miss. One of the amazing things about Hank Aaron is the consistency he had over the course of his career. Just missed. In terms of that consistency, making an all-star game in 21 straight seasons is a pretty good indicator of what a steady player Hank was. Next Ball offering two. is down low, and it's 2-1. and one. There were no bad seasons for Hammer and Hank. There were hardly even any bad days. The next nope, pitch misses, that's and that's ball three. Ball, one strike. The pitch. Crushed. Left center field. This one's deep. Forget it. Knew what pitch he wanted to hit. Spent on some other pitches in this at bat. Was very patient. And it paid off. And now here is Harper. And yeah, that's outside. Ball one. Always exciting to see a leadoff home run in an inning. Kind of gets the offense fired up and you start to expect a big inning. Fastball for a strike. I mean, that's perfect location right on the black. I mean, over and over again, this guy demonstrates the ability to hit those spots. They're so tough to do anything with as a hitter. One ball, two strikes. The next offering misses. It's two and two. It's a good take. And a swing and a miss. And that's the first out. Nice recovery after giving up the homer. Very frustrating right there that as a good. speedy no potential base runner win. But two strikes, you just pitching change here. Brian now Hudson. Brian. And here Hudson. is Adam Dunn. That one finds the zone. Strike one. Swing and a miss as he was out front. No ball, two strikes. That one misses ball, the zone. Now one and two. One out, base is empty, and a run in. Bottom half of inning number two. That oh, one misses. Guy. Two and two. Really good take, especially with two strikes. Got him swinging. 
And there's two down. And here's the first baseman, John Cruck. Fastball in for a strike. It's 0 and 1. Out to short, Swanson. Sends it across oh. to first, third out, and that ends the frame. But not before they answer back with a solo home run. We're back to start the third, and there's a new arm on the mound, Adam Adovino. Now it's the DH. Struck out swinging his first time. And the pitch. Swing and a miss. That's strike one. Oh, that's that slurf right there. He threw it extremely well. He talked about just a ton of breaks. So tough to get that barrel to. At the belt and fires. Three. Swing and a miss. And he's down on strikes. One away. Next to switch hitting first baseman, Lance Lynn doubled in his first A.B. Fought off foul. One down, base is empty. And there's a foul ball. Fights that one away, and the count remains 0-2. One out, base is empty. Bounce to the left side. It's through for a hit. A couple of hits in a row for him here. Not much to this one other than just a willingness to go the other way and put the ball in play. That's a team at bat right there. Nice job of staying back and letting the ball get deep. Double play ball to second. Off balance speed. There's one. On to first. Double play. And that's the inning. Back here in Seoul. As we go to the last of the third. Here's the center fielder. Curtis Granderson. As the lefty gets to work. That's in there. And it's all in one. And a swing and a miss there. Oh, and two. Kicks and deals. Three. Swings through it for the K. Had him way out front of the slur. Here's Francisco Lindor. A switch hitter batting right. That clips a corner. This is the type of hitter his club wants it to play, especially playing from behind. He's hoping to start a rally right here. Swing and a miss, and that's strike two. That one way inside. And another ball. Base is empty one away. You're in the last half of the third. Swing and a miss. Couldn't hit the fastball at the knees. So they're down to their final out. Dontrell Willis getting ready to hit. First pitch just misses. And that gets the inside corner for a strike. One strike away. Now, and that is the ball game. Well, mission accomplished. First game of the season. Got that first win out of the way. Kind of helps everyone to settle in to the rest of the
So almost ready to get underway and on the hill. Pedro Martinez. What do we need to know here about the right hand? Well, he comes at hitters with a five pitch mix. So for him, it's always interesting to see how he utilizes those weapons. He may He's lean on that. one or two pitches depending on how things are going and how things are working. But if he can control four or even five of those offerings, look out hitters. It's going to be a tough day. He's really going to be able to keep those guys hey. off balance. Bob Gibson stands oh, in one. now and watches strike one. Swing and a miss. Nice changeup. Chris, I wonder what coaches in the league say when they first get the schedule for the season. Well, I imagine it's a combination of excitement, hope, and a splash of how in the world are we going to get from Cairo to Seoul to Lima in a few days? Came after him with the fastball on 0-2, and that's a pretty good demonstration of what power pitching is all about. He's got the stuff, obviously, and right there he used it to put his opponent away without needing to waste any pitches. If I were in charge, I think I'd give the schedule to our travel secretary before giving it to the coaching staff. We're not getting to any of these games without that crew. If you're a traveling secretary for a team in the GBL, well, got to pause on that thought as that bottom of the first. And now the DH, Dontrell Willis. And here it comes. Breaking ball through there for a strike. It kind of sounds like you're saying this format feels like the playoffs right from the start of the season. It does, Boog, and obviously no one is getting eliminated right away, but you can't afford a losing streak either. Only four teams make the playoffs, and there's always tough competition for those spots. One ball, two strikes. And a pitch. Fights that one away, still one and two. And the righty deals. Got him swinging for the strikeout. Some high cheese for strike three. With that kind of velocity and elevated Not fastball, second. even if second it's second. still in the strike zone, can be tough for hitters to get on top Nola. of. And now, Aaron Nola right through there for a strike. One out, base is empty. Comes up empty. That's strike two. and misses slider got him for strike three well we see it a lot more these days than we ever did when i played but a slider in the 90s still catches your attention even if you're sitting on the pitch good luck recognizing that tight spin and adjusting to the late break jacob de stands in here takes ball one low found back our way and that's out of play Just missed. Two out spaces empty. Swing and a miss. Chased it out of the zone. Two balls, two strikes. Wouldn't chase that time. Hank Aaron in the on deck circle, hoping to get a chance to make a big impact here. Got him. Strikes out the side to begin the game. What a. And we're back. Top of the second. Here's some real power at the plate. Lance Lynn. And the right hander back to work. That one pulled foul. The wind and the pitch. Slides for the stop. Over to first. And that's a great play for the out. Well, Boog, as an infielder, you have to be ready for anything. In that spot, it required going to the ground, getting a little dirty, and making a strong throw for the out. Great play. Ernie Banks, the next day hit, takes high for ball one. Well, he's so great about hitting the ball the other way. He gets those arms extended. So right there, just trying to straighten him up a little bit so he doesn't have as much outside plate coverage. And a pitch. Strike one. Instead of letting the hitter get his Two arms extended, tie them up a little bit, slightly up, slightly in. This one popped up. Foul ground, first base side. And there are two down. Dansby Swanson stands in. Ripped to short. 
Whips it to first. And Swanson is set down. And welcome back to the ballpark. Bottom of the second. Here's a big power threat. Hank Aaron. There's a strike. You know this guy's great speed is in the back of that pitcher's mind. If he can get on, it's going to give him one more thing he's got to think about. Off the mark there. One ball, one strike. Patrick Johnson behind the plate. Patty Johnson to some boat, but now a blast to left center. Way back there. On its way. Out of here. And they lead it. It's one zip. Well, the best home runs are the ones that give your team the lead. That's a great feeling right there. Here's Bryce Harper. Swings through that. Oh, he's just got to delete it. You give up that leadoff home run. Go back to work. Focus on this next batter. Pitch is in there. And a count is 0-2. Love how vocal the umpire is today. No doubt. In the hitter's mind, catcher's mind, and even the pitcher's mind as to the conviction in the call. Just off the inside edge. He's really tightening up his hitting zone with two strikes here. I love it. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Now, there's a small sigh of relief right there. I mean, just to keep that speed off the base pass. It's not just the pitcher. It's other guys that have to think. So they turn to the veteran pitcher in this spot, Sam Bowl. And they felt it was time to bring on a left-handed reliever from the pen with the lefty hitter coming up. I think it's a good move. I know I never liked when opposing teams did that to me. One down, base is empty. Swing and a miss. Oh, with two down. Oh, two is the count. Ground ball up the middle. Over to first. Play is made, two out. John Crock now at the plate. And that one is in for a strike. Two down, base is empty, but one run across. Bottom half of inning number two. In the air, center field. Marte moves under it and puts the squeeze on that one. And that is that. But they're off to a good start as they pick up a run on this solo shot. Welcome back. And here comes the closer, Rysel Iglesias. Now, this is an extremely confident pitcher. He loves the pressure. Actually likes the one-run game better than a comfortable three-run save opportunity because that's when he pitches his best. Next offering in there for a strike. And it's 0-2. Outside, everyone here understands just how quickly things could change. Got him swinging for the K. Couldn't catch up to the heater. Stan Musial, the next to hit. Stan Musial. This to center field. Granderson under it. Snags it for the second out. Batting none. So it's their last chance in this one. Starling Marte up to hit. Marte. Pitch hitter coming on. Kyle Schwarber. And he would be the tie and run booth, so we may see him try to launch one if he gets a good pitch to handle. Yeah. And he swings and misses at the initial oh, offering. Yeah. Cut on and missed 96 of that fastball. Oh, He's in a great spot right here, ahead in the count 0 2. All four pitches in play right here, partner. Well, that one just misses. One ball, really strikes, good take, yeah. especially with two strikes. This could end it. Got him, and that's the ball game. The final one to nothing. They hang on to win it by a run for Chris Singleton. All right, ready to go here. Here's the second baseman, Hunter Green. The why to kick the pitch. 
That one Three. finds ah. the corner, and this one is off and running. First pitch, 106. There's a swing and a drive. And that one hops the wall. Junior gets it back in quickly, and that holds the go-ahead run at second base. Everything came together for him. Anytime you can drive a ball into the gap the other way, it feels so good. And that's when you know you're right where you need to be at the plate. It's even better when it gets you extra bases. Gotta love looking in at your dugout and seeing your teammates fired up. Here comes a pitch. And that one fouled off. Boog, here's a guy at the plate. I'm expecting to have a good game. He always seems to play better in road games. The pitch. Line drive. Knocks it down. Fires the first on the run. Hey. In there safely. All over that one right there. Really good swing right there. He got a pitch that he knew he could handle. Allowed himself to stay back just a tad bit long. Into the outfield. Base hit. Run scores easily. And it's 1-0. Well, there you go, the RBI machine, another clutch run scoring it back. Yeah, he's been so good in these situations. Call it clutch if you want, but his resume speaks for itself. Lance Lynn in the box now, takes strike one. Fouled off, he was late. It's great to get on the board in the first frame of the ball game, but here's an opportunity for them to really open things up with a couple of runners on. Let's see if they can cash in. They got Gosh. him looking. And that is a big first out. Well, just a beautiful fastball on the inside corner for that backwards K right there. I think the hitter saw it all the way coming from that opposite arm angle. So I got to think he was looking away and just got locked up by the hard stuff boring in on his hands. Ernie Banks oh and one. swings through it for strike one. That one is absolutely belted. Junior on a dead sprint racing back. Bounces off the wall as he makes the grab. Relay throw to third, and the throw's offline, safe at third. Excellent play out there, and he does it in a huge spot. That wall, it can very easily jar the ball loose when you bang into it, so that could have been a really different outcome. On its way to the corner, makes the grab. Nice play after the long run, and that's the third out. So one run in the end. Bottom of the first. Now at the plate, Ricky Henderson. The pitch. Now one missed. 1-0. That's outside. No, and the count is 2-0. The wind of the pitch. Line drive. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. And there's one down. So up next, Jonah Heim. He swings and misses at the first pitch. 0-1. Good eye right there. One out. Base is empty. That one in triple digits. Well, wow, triple digits on the gun. I know there are more pitchers that can reach that now than in the past, but it's still impressive to watch. And a swing and a miss. That's the second out. First strikeout for him in this one. That splitter is maybe the go-to pitch when he's looking for a swing and miss like that. He throws it quite a bit, and that's a good example of the effect it can have on a hitter. Stepping in, Craig Biggio. Tosses to first, and they get Biggio for the out. What a play. David Robertson comes on now. Just trying to keep this one close here, and this is where a bullpen can give their players a chance to fight back into the game. Pitch. Richie yeah. Sexton in the box now. No balls in a strike. And the right-hander deals. Swing ah. and a miss. 
And the count is 0 and 2. Gosh, a little late on that breaking ball. I don't think he recognized it out of the hand. Just a little tardy. I have to regroup here. And the pitch is outside. Ball one. One, two. Fouls it off. Still one and two. The pitch. And ball. another ball. Two and two. Pitch misses there, down. and that's ball three. Now this is in the air down the line. Griffey on his horse. Hauls it in after a long run. And there's one away. And now the right fielder, Stan Musial. Swings and blasts one deep to left center. This looks like extra bases. Makes the turn and heads for second. Not stopping, he's going for three. The relay, not in time, he's safe. Went up there looking to be aggressive and got something he could handle. Man, that feels so good to shoot an absolute bolt the opposite way. Split the gap and know that you've got extra bases right off the bat. That's the kind of thing hitters dream about when they're falling asleep at night. Down the line. And that drops foul. And a rope into center field, base hit. In comes the run from third. It's 2 0. Picks himself up in RBI. Good extension on that. Kirby Yates gets the ball now. Pretty tight game, so they're looking for quality pitches out of him right here. Got to do his best to keep the score right where it is. And going, now going. Hunter Green. One ball, Marte no of the move. Safe at second with a stolen base. Well, they did everything they could to try to prevent that steal. They throw the pitch out, but just great speed on the base paths. And that's a pretty nice stolen base. Swing and a miss. One and one. Late yeah. that time, and it's strike two. One it might two. be time yeah. to choke up a little bit, get that front foot down early, maybe even just spread out. He's really late right now. Popped in the air, left field. And Ricky Henderson to grab. Good pitch. He just kind of had him out in front on that pitch away and wasn't able to stay closed. Here's the catcher, Bob Gibson. Reached on an infield single his first time. Breaks his bat, pops it up. Segura on the run, throw to first. In time, got him. And that'll do it. But they pick up one run on the RBI single. Back here in Tokyo, now Rafael Palmero. Schemes back to work. Wouldn't chase that time. And a good oh. eye there. Hey, he doubled up on the he off speed there. Time. We talk about the power fastball, but he's working a little differently here. Time to check on our umpires. Earl Hendricks hey, calling I balls and strikes. Yeah, well liked umpire, boo. Pretty consistent with his zone. So if you're familiar with him and how he works, you won't get too surprised by anything. Sometimes he'll give a little bit off the corner, but nothing too crazy at all. Got it by him for the K. With that kind of velocity, an elevated fastball, even Not if it's still in the strike zone, can be tough for hitters oh, to get on top of. Ryan Helsley oh, into yeah. the game. Now, Next to hit, Nolan Ryan. Ryan. Line drive, caught! Yikes, that ball was scorched. An absolute missile, and it almost becomes self-defense as the fielder when one of those things comes screaming towards you. Watch your hey, lips. What? Randy Johnson at the plate with two oh, away, swings through that one. 
Swing and a miss and 102 on the radar gun. And down on strikes he goes. Three up, three down, inning over. So they new pitcher now, Taylor Scott. And we all know about his slider. It's just filthy, man. And one of the better ones in the game, I'd say. Spin rate's very high and it just breaks a ton. Now it's the DH. The wind of the pitch. And there's the strike. Well, there's a certain point where you have to commit to what you think you see, and he guessed wrong right there. Nasty slider with one just terrific bite at the end. And a pitch. Swing and a miss. And it's one and two. One and Clearly two. was sitting on a fastball right there and just ended up out in front of the slider. Hey, you can't fault him for his commitment. Now he's just going to have to battle with two strikes. Righty delivers. Swing and a high fly ball down the right field line. And a foul ball. Well, they gave up on that pitch early, and it ended up staying in the zone. I'm sure he's kicking himself and would like that pitch again. And a swing and a miss. Down on strikes. And one out now. And next will be the cleanup hitter, Lance Lynn. That's inside. That's inside. Ball. Base is empty one away. We're here in the top half of inning number three. In the air, right side. On the run towards the line. Flashes the leather on the run and catch. Two down. Here's the third baseman, Ernie Banks. Maybe caught that one off the end just a little bit. Couldn't quite barrel it up enough to really drive it. They tried One to get him to chase strikes. on a slider down and away. Cuts and misses. It's a strikeout. Welcome back to the Kaiju Cave. Bottom of the inning. Now here is Ken Griffey Jr. Grounded to Ernie. Slings it across. Leadoff man retired here in the third. Gene Segur at the plate here. That catches the top part of the zone. That's strike one. And a bunt towards third. Bare hand grab to first. And he's safe at first. That's their first hit of the ball game. And now the switch hitting catcher. Count. So a lefty out of the pen, Brian Hudson. Well, the best relievers love the opportunity to come in and protect a tight lead late in the ball game. Some of them are just wired different, so we'll see what he's got here. Tying run at the plate. Best ball for a strike. And it's 0-2. With two strikes, may see some movement over there at first base, trying to stay out of the double play right here. Oh, that just high. misses. And a count one and two. And a pitch. Swings through it, and that's a strikeout. So they're down to their final out. Here's the left fielder, Ricky Henderson. Late on that fastball. Well, strike one is so critical that in a bat like this, with a real threat at the plate, looking to do damage. Sends it to center, and that's going to do it. And it drops in. Lead runner makes the turn at second. And that's a two-out double. Headed for the plate. The tag, and that's the ball game. In a three-inning game, a 2-0 win can sort of feel like a mini blowout. Nice job to jump ahead and a great job.
Okay, all set to go. Now the batter now, Jazz Chisholm Jr. And he deals. In the air, right center. This is mashed way back and gone. A massive home run. The Yankees score first. It's 1-0. And here is Anthony Volpe. Inside, that's one. off the mark. And that's ball one. He was late there, strike one. Always exciting to see a leadoff home run in an inning. Kind of gets the offense fired up, and you start to expect a big inning. Bear hands it. Tough play. Nicely done for the out. And now big number 99, Aaron Judge. Well, he gave the butt a shot there, but not able to execute. Yeah, I think he rushed it a little bit, and when guys rush, it can be a pop-up or can be bunted right back at a position player. Kicks and deals. He caught it behind his back. And very nicely done for the out. Here's Juan Soto. And a swing and a miss. Soto getting the start. Start in right. 25 years old. And he was born in the Dominican Republic. Next hey. offering in there for a strike. Going to two. Down. Swing and a miss. Strike. We go to the bottom of the first. Stepping in the long ball threat. Hunter Green. Makes the sliding stop. Throw to first. It's there. And that's a great play. Now the catcher up to hit. Bob Gibson. High fly ball down the left field line. Puts it away for the out. Ernie Banks will hit next. The third baseman, Ernie Banks. Swing and a foul straight back. Slice down the right side. Two outs. Foul ball still 0-2. Kicks and fires. And 1-2. and two. Out towards right center. That's well struck. Could be extra bases. Now he'll turn for second. And he starts his afternoon off right with a double. Couldn't have timed it up any better than that. Pretty much a model swing on that one as he ripped it into the opposite field gap. And I'm sure he's going to be watching that one back on video because that's the kind of swing you want to bottle. So many positives that led to that knock. Swing and a miss. Nice changeup. The strategy of winning a ball game when you can make that pitcher work a little more, expose himself by throwing pitches. That could be the key to winning. Now this is through for a base hit. Now a long throw home, but it's offline. Puts a run on the board and picks up an RBI. Wasn't able to elevate that one, but he sure hit it hard enough to get through the infield. There's not a whole lot of time for the defenders to react and try to make a play when it's ripped like that. Oh, and now a wild pitch. And now a man into scoring position. The 1 0. And that one hit to first. Oh, look at the stop. Got him. A beautiful play to end the inning. Back here in Denver, second inning set to go. Here's Jose Trevino. De La Cruz back to work. 
to the left side but it is well foul. And here it comes. Swing and a miss. That one at 101. Swings and misses. And now one away. Here's Stanton now. Outfield playing very deep, not wanting anything over their heads. Missed with a changeup, and that's ball one. And another ball. Next offering in there for a strike. Two balls and a strike. Slider clips the zone. Man, this guy's got a great feel for his breaking ball today. One down, base is empty. Swings and misses, struck him out. Austin Wells stepping in now for the Yankees. Swing and a miss, strike one. Tied up here in the early going. And he's down 0-2 as he swings through it. 0-2 is the count. That one missing inside. That's a really good take right there. Slider down and in. Very difficult to get on the same plane and do anything with. Swings through that, and it's a strikeout. And the Yanks go... Back here at Coors Field, bottom half of inning number two. Now it's the right fielder, Stan Musial. Swing at a ball lifted to center field. Judge calls it in, and there's one away. And here's the first baseman, Richie Sexton. And that's off the inside edge. One and oh. Top of the zone, and it's called a strike. I think he was sitting off speed right there because he just let the fastball go by. Next offering in there for a strike. And the count one, one and two. two Chopped left side. Chisholm. And there's two away. Kyle Schwarber comes up to hit here. And first offering is fouled off. Two down, nobody on. In the air to left, down the line. And it one hops the wall. And he's got a double. So two down. Here's Starling Marte. Foul ball there. Fouled off down the right side. Man at second. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Top half of the third inning. And stepping in for the Yankees, Glaber Torres. There's the strike at the knees. Swing and a miss. Oh, a two down. Hats and misses. It's a strikeout. Here's Alex Verdugo. Alex Verdugo. And immediately pumps in a strike to the left-handed hitter. One out. Base is empty. Hammer. And this one could be extra bases. Around first and hustling for second. And that's a double. Everything came together perfectly for him right there. When you connect and it jumps off your bat like that, you're thinking double at the very hey. least. What a great swing on it, and man, oh, he wasn't one. fooled at all. Chisholm now at the plate as he swings through strike one. Lifted in the air right center field. Two down. That's a really nice play, ranging back into the outfield for that catch. We all know those can be a little tricky, especially if the wind's swirling around out there. Volpe the takes ball. a ball as he stands in for the ball second one, time. No De La Cruz, one of the best strikeout pitchers in the Aye. game, and that certainly is a benefit to him when he's in a spot like this. That Aye. one, it triple digits. Yeah, if you're going to be in the game in high leverage situations, you swing and a miss, struck him out. 
That ends the frame. And we're back, ready to go for the last half of the inning. Standing in is the power hitting second baseman, Hunter Green. First oh, pitch misses. Ripped on the ground a second. Throws to first. Leadoff hitter gone in the third. Now the number two hitter, Bob Gibson. That one fouled off. Right-hander kicks, deals. Swung on, belted. Soto moving back for him. And just like the ex-girlfriend who ain't coming back, that one is gone. One down. And now Ernie Banks. Inside corner for a strike. Going one. Part of the order coming through now. And with one home run already in this inning, they're definitely looking to do some more damage. One down. Base is empty. Switch through that one. It's a strikeout. Now here's the switch inning power threat. Lance Lynn. This to third. Tosses across the first. And that is. And welcome back to the ballpark as we go to the top of the fourth. And now the center fielder, Aaron Judge. And a pitch. Swing and a miss. Slider right there. Well, in terms of hitting rocket home runs, Judge is near the top of that list. Only Giancarlo Stanton has hit more with greater exit velocity than Judd. Look out, though. Shohei is quickly climbing those charts. Next offering misses, and it's two and two. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Picks up strikeout number seven. And now it's Juan Soto. Went down on strikes his first time through. Fought off foul. Righty to the plate. That's a strike across the top of the zone. And that one is inside. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Pulled the string on the changeup. Jose Trevino stepping in now for the Yankees. He was a strikeout victim his first time. Right through there for a strike. Trevino measures 5 feet 10 inches, 215 pounds, and he was a sixth round draft pick back in 2014. Three. Swing and a miss struck him out. Back here in Denver, bottom of the fourth, Dansby Swanson stands in. And the right hander back to work. That's ripped. Base hit. So a runner aboard to start the inning. Waste no time there. Pitch was away, and he did exactly what you're supposed to do with it. Drive it the other way. Just go with the pitch. And now, Stan Musial. Ground ball to first. Could be two. Feed to second. That's one. Plenty of time at first. That's a double play. Here's some real power at the plate. Richie Sexton. 0 for 1. He grounded out in his first at bat. Swing and a drive. Deep right field. Soto going back. Pulls it in on the warning track. Back here at Coors Field. New inning getting started. And here is Giancarlo Stanton. 
Here comes a pinch. Ball one. That one is upstairs. Count you know, one. these Yankees just lacking discipline at the plate in this ball game. They've been chasing pitches outside the zone all game, and it's led to some frustrating moments. They've been fooled quite a bit today. Ball. That one a little bit high, and a count two, two and one. Swing and a miss. He was late. Strike two. And he chases that one. Looks like he's picked up right where he left off. Austin Wells stepping in now for the Yankees. That clips the corner. That one's in there. And it's nothing in two. Upstairs. Too close for me, partner, to take that 0-2 fastball, but for whatever reasons, he let it go Whoa, by. Right He's still in the at-bat. I don't think he'll let the next one go. One down, base is empty. Still 2-2 two two after the foul ball. Three. Sends him down on strikes. Throws him with a backdoor slider. Here comes Glaber Torres. He struck out swinging at his first at-bat. There's a strike. Not sure if he could be in more of a groove. Looks really relaxed. He's retired seven straight. This guy's feeling it right now. And a strike to Glaber. Swings and misses. It's a strike. And we're back. We head to the bottom of the fifth. Now the left fielder, Kyle Schwarber. The right-hander back to work. Pitch misses there. And that is ball one. Well, these players doing a good job of putting the ball into play, and that makes things more challenging on the defensive side. The numbers tell us they're averaging more than a hit every inning, and they've only struck out twice, so they keep finding That's ways to put their bat on the ball. Starling Marte Starling. up to hit. Marte. Hey. Man, he really sells the changeup with that arm action. And the righty deals. That one finds the zone. That is strike two. Way oh. high. Base is empty one away. Last half of inning number five. Wouldn't chase that time. Out towards right center field. Sizes this one up. That's out number two. So the lineup flips over. Now here is Hunter Green. Hunter Green. First pitch swinging. Oh, he's got to be pretty proud of this outing so far. Sometimes guys cower coming into a ballpark like this, but he is attacked hitters. Pitching on the road like this is very impressive. This has been a treat to watch. Two outs. Ball two. Two balls, one strike. And it's fouled away. And now two and two. That one back up the middle and it gets through. And that keeps the inning going. Well, that was one of those high percentage advantage counts where batting averages are just so much higher. Really nice job staying up the middle with his approach. He didn't try to do too much with the pitch. Just shot it through the infield. And first offering is fouled off. The pitch. That one pushed foul out of play off to the left. Green off of first with two away. That one, one well upstairs. And a count one and two. Out to center. Judge is under it. Corrals it. And that ends the top of the sixth Verdugo. inning. Here's the left fielder, the left Alex Verdugo. Alex. And the pitch. Verdugo. And he blows that one by him at 100. Oh, it really looks like these hitters have been in between with their timing today. Good fastball, excellent slider, but they've not been able to commit to one velocity and stay there. Swings and misses, struck him out. He's now struck out eight in a row. Jazz Chisholm Jr. now. 
swing and a ball lifted left field. He's got it. And a couple of quick outs. Now it's the shortstop, Anthony Volpe. First nope. offering and it just misses. The Yankees down by a run. And we're at the top half of the sixth. Now one and one. One ball, one strike. Swing and a miss. Just an outstanding job of spinning the baseball, moving it around. Got him swinging. He chased. Bottom of the six. Here's a big power threat. Ernie Banks. Third baseman. Ernie. As he turns on the rubber. And with that good live arm delivers. And he chases that one below the zone. In Ernie Banks, you've got a player who truly loves the game. Let's play two was his signature line, and he meant it. Base hit. That was smoked through the infield. And the leadoff man aboard. Now that Lance Lynn digs in now. Lynn. One for two. He had an RBI Lynn. base hit back in the first. Hard hit. Left field. Base hit. Verdugo quickly throws it in. Rudder stops at second, and the first two reach to start the inning. Two consecutive base hits for this team. No New seven. pitcher for the Yankees, Nick Birdie. Just trying to keep this one close here, and this is where a bullpen can give their players a chance to fight back into the game. At the play, Dansby Swanson. That misses. Ball one. That one ripped right center field, and it's into the gap. One run is in. Rounds third, headed for the plate. Now two runs score. He's in there. That's now three hits in a row for the offense. He didn't smoke that ball, but he didn't have to, man. When you're working the ball gap to gap, there's so much open space out there. So I think that knock was... That's hard hit on the line. That's a base hit. Run scores. Four hits in a row, and they're really swinging it here. Just a solid swing right there. Caught it out front and ripped it into the outfield for the base hit. Those always feel great. And that one is lifted in the air. Soto gets under it. Makes the grab. One down. Man at first. The now the left fielder, the left fielder. Kyle Schwarber. Kyle. One for two. Schwarber. Just missed. In the air, pretty deep out to center field. Judge is there. Puts it away for the out. And there's two down. So, a man aboard. Here's the center fielder, Starling Marte. And first offering is fouled off. The pitch. Out to short. Volpe. They take the force out. out inning over. We go to the top of the seventh. Here is Aaron Judge. The pitch. Right through there for a strike. The Yankees looking to rally. And ball one to Judge. You can tell by their swings. This lineup is having trouble gauging speeds. Time. This one swung on and hit well. Way back there. Banks off the wall. Throws to second. And that's a leadoff double. He was all over that one. Just missed out on a home run right there, but he certainly hit it hard enough. Just didn't have the right launch angle to carry it over the wall, but still an excellent swing of the bat. Left-hand batter waits. No, that's low. no outs. Runner on second. Up the middle. Gets it to first. That's the first out at the top of the seventh. Jose Trevino stepping in now for the Yankees. 
And there's a strike on the outside corner. One away with a runner at third. Here in the top half of inning number seven. Next offering is in for a strike. And delivers outside. Really good slider. He's up there just hoping that it ends up off the plate away. <laughs> and downstairs. And he's down on strikes. And two away now. Now here's Giancarlo Stanton. Up and in, and it's one to no. There's a swing and a miss. One and one. Two outs. And another ball. Hard hit, right side. Tosses to first. And that is the inning. Back here in Denver, set for the last half of the seventh. Now it's going to be Hunter Green. Green. Birdie back to work. And that one hammered Judge. Going back on this one. And it's off the top of the wall. Safe at second with a leadoff double. So man aboard. And here's the catcher, Bob Gibson. He's already homered in this game. That one ripped. And it's off the wall. The run comes in to score from second, and the lead is up to five. And that's a double. Well done, drive. Here's a new pitcher from the pen, Ron Marinaccio. And with the big deficit on the scoreboard, he almost has to just put that out of his mind. Every outing matters for relievers and their numbers, but I think it's tough to get up for this type of appearance the same way you would for one in a close game. Inside, and one. that's off the inside edge. And it's a ball and a strike. Into center. Judge has it sized up. Nabs it. Runner tags it second, and he's in safely at third with one out. Lance Lynn now at the plate. Swing and a high fly ball out there towards left field. He's got it. Runner tagging from third. Throw is offline and he scores. And it's now a six run lead. Two outs, base is empty. And the batter will be the shortstop, Dansby Swanson. And first offering is fouled off. The pitch hard on the ground to first he takes it himself to the bag and that'll do it we go to the eighth and now the first baseman Austin Wells Brian Hudson takes over on the mound compared to some days this is a pretty low leverage appearance for him so he should be fairly free and easy out there still have to keep yourself sharp and attack the strike zone there's the strike And a swing and a miss. Gonna really need to hang in there with that front side against this left-handed breaking ball. Nope. Ball one there. Got it by him for the K. Here's Glaber Torres, who's 0 for 2 with a pair of strikeouts. First pitch, and he just misses. Rips one to right. Usual calls it in and there's two away not fooled at all right there He was clearly all over it, but sometimes you hit it too hard and right at someone you're looking for one of those Loop Hits to get a knock sometimes yeah. Swing and a miss and that's strike two, no ball, two strike. Next offering misses down and away. Three. Swing and a miss. And welcome back to the ballpark. And now the right fielder, Stan Musial. And here it comes. Line drive, base hit. Man aboard on the leadoff single. 
Didn't take long to get a result for that at bat. Just a really nice approach to shoot that line drive to the opposite field. There's a lot of hard work and discipline that goes into getting a result like that at the plate. Doesn't come naturally for most hitters. Sexton in the box now as he leaves that one up high. Rudder at first with no outs here. Outside low and now 2-0. Two balls, no strike. That to right. Soto makes the catch, and there's one gone. Man at first. Here's the left fielder, the left fielder. Kyle Schwarber. Kyle. One for three. Schwarber. And that one fouled off. Yeah, the right hander deals. Aye. Swing and a miss. Nice changeup. Oh, Man at first, one away. On the ground to the Aye. left, and it goes just foul. At the belt and fires. Ball that one. one's upstairs, ball one. one ball, now two one and two. Down. Way to lay off that fastball up right there. You're looking for something you see well that you can handle, but you also have to keep the discipline so that you're not popping up pitches that are just a little too high. Soto calls it in, two away. Starling Marte getting ready to hit. And a foul ball. Usual, the runner at first with two gone. In the air, out towards right center. Soto going after it. And makes the play, and that's out number three. We go to the ninth, leading off Jazz Chisholm Jr. And a pitch. And first offering is fouled off. The pitch. Swings through that one for strike two. Got him swinging. He's two outs away. Anthony Volpe stepping in now for the Yankees. 0 for 3 with two strikeouts and a ground out. And he swings and misses, and it's nothing in one. Oh, and one. Right field down the line, and that one slices foul. One down, base is empty. Nope, Just outside. off the outside part of the plate. High fly ball out to left field. Schwarber settles under it. And makes the grab. And there are two outs. So last chance for the Yankees. Aaron Judge stepping in now for the Yankees. First pitch doesn't find the zone. Just missed. Two will count to a guy like this at the plate. You've got to throw a pitcher's pitch. Don't just try to get a strike. He could make you pay. Kicks and deals. And Judge spoils that one. The Yanks with a lot of ground to make up here at the top of the ninth. Just yep, missed. Out. And he walked him. You know, I think he's okay with that outcome. It, it wasn't an intentional walk, but now he wasn't exactly trying to attack the zone either. They turn things yep. over to the southpaw, Aroldis Chapman. And you know, bullpen guys can struggle sometimes oh, when they're called upon with big leads because it just doesn't have the same intensity as a tight game. So 
We'll see how sharp he is. Your mental toughness matters in situations like this as well. The Yankees down to their final Three. strike. Got him. And that'll do it. I don't care if you're a top team or you're a middle of the pack team. Every ball club wants to be. Thank you. 